ऑनरेबल मेयर वडोदरा केयूर रोकड़िया जी ऑनरेबल चांसलर राजमाता शुभांगिनी राजे गायकवाड़ जी अर्चना गोरेंग जी फ्रॉम द यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल यूथ एडवाइजरी ग्रुप वाइस चांसलर एम एस यू बड़ौदा डॉक्टर श्रीवास्तव रजिस्ट्रार एम एस यू बड़ौदा माई डियर यंग फ्रेंड्स फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ प्लेजर एंड अ प्रिविलेज टू बी प्रेजेंट ऑन दी ओकेशन ऑफ दिस इंटरनेशनल यूथ कंसल्टेशन दैट हैज़ बीन ऑर्गेनाइज बाई एम एस यू बड़ौदा द थीम फॉर टूडेज कंसल्टेशन दैट इज़ क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन मेकिंग सस्टेनेबिलिटी अ वे ऑफ लाइफ is a key theme for the future of gujarat for the future of india and for the future of the world and given the immense domain expertise of msu baroda it was the most appropriate institution for hosting this particular consultation and we are indeed grateful <laughs> and we are indeed grateful to the faculty and students of msu baroda for organizing it in such a wonderful way and for the warm welcome and the hospitality that they have offered to all the delegates who have come here from different countries in the best traditions of atithi devo bhav friends if you look at indian history it is the youth of india who have built this nation mahatma gandhi was all of 21 years old when he started the agitation in south africa when he came to india and he took charge of the mass indian national movement he was 40 years old chandrashekhar azad shahid bhagat singh all of whom are youth icons they were in their 20s veer savarkar was 21 years of age when he set up the abhinav bharat society in every sense of the word it is the youth of the nation who have built india in the past and this is also the case today when i see all of you today when i see your energy when i see your enthusiasm i am reminded once again the critical role that youth play today when we look at the chief ministers of india about one third of them became chief ministers in their late 30s and early 40s when you look at the top businesses in india many of them started their businesses in their 30s so whatever be the sector whether it is politics whether it is business whether it is academia community service it is the youth who are leading the charge who are building this nation and that is why during the g20 presidency it is critical to provide a platform where their voices could be heard and they could be told in no uncertain terms that they have a seat at the table this is precisely what the youth 20 consultation hopes to do the department of youth affairs through the youth 20 engagement group is planning to hold consultations pan india where a forum will be provided to youth to articulate their ideas to discuss and debate and tell us about what are the best policies that can create a better india that can create a better future not just for india but for the world when we look at gujarat today we see so many stories of innovation in climate change in business in so many other sectors those stories of innovation carry a lot of lessons which are of great use for building public policy and this is the appropriate forum where india can talk about the work done and discuss in multilateral institutions how best to use this experience to devise robust public policies for the entire world india for the world that is the theme for the youth 20 engagement group so i look forward to very robust discussions in all the panel discussions that are going to be held today and once again i wish all of you the heartiest my heartiest best wishes and congratulations from the side of the department of youth affairs thank you